Hello and welcome to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at Apache Guacamole, which is a clientless remote desktop gateway, and it supports standard protocols like VNC, RDP, and SSH, all through the magic of HTML5. You may have encountered other videos on YouTube about this piece of software. And that's great. Everybody has their different approach to it, and I am no different. What I have yet to see on YouTube is what could be one of the easiest ways to get Apache Guacamole up and running. And that is to use the Bitnami pre-built virtual machine, which while you may not feel that you can use this for a permanent solution, when you are initially testing out the software and setting it up, this may be a good solution for you to consider. Also, this may be a great fit for someone who has to manage the computers in a household with multiple computers and is not there all the time. So I've already downloaded the image for this. So let's switch over to VirtualBox and get started. All right, now that we've got VirtualBox launched, I actually need to bring over a finder window here. And we're going to look in downloads under OVA. And so this is in fact an OVA image that is not compressed with zip or other compression. From VirtualBox, we are going to import an appliance. Select the file. So downloads. OVA, Bitnami Guacamole, Appliance, Open, Continue, we're going to give it an additional CPU core, it's got a meg and a half of RAM, it defaults to the PCNet Fast 3 controller, and we will look over settings after the import is con is completed. And I'll be right back when this is done. Okay, now we've got our Bitnami Guacamole VM down here. We'll take a look through settings one more time. One thing we need to make sure is that we've got bridged networking and we need to look at invalid settings. So this says it's configured with less than nine megabytes of video memory, which is the minimum required to switch to full screen or seamless mode. Well, we're not going to be doing that, but we will make this 16 anyways, just to make it happy. The size of the virtual hard drive is 15 gigs, which is fine. We're going to turn off the floppy drive. It's not necessary. Really, the display settings are not that necessary for this particular use case. And we're going to turn off audio because, again, it is just not necessary. This is effectively a server type virtual machine. So let's go ahead and start this and see what we end up with. Okay, that opened on the other screen. Okay. Welcome to the Bitnami stack for Apache Guacamole. Built using Debian 9, so they have not updated it to Debian 10 yet. To access the console, log in using Bitnami and you'll use that for the username and the password.
and then it forces you to change that password. Okay, so we are set for the new password. And the IP address we've got is 172.16.74.185. And let's try Firefox. 172.16.74.185. And that doesn't complain at us. Advanced, accept risk and continue. And we've got Apache Guacamole. Guac Admin is the username and password by default. I take that back. We've got the Guacamole install page. And the default username is Guac Admin. And okay, so you've got to copy the password out of the terminal. Log in. We're going to add a new user and I'm going to give it all of the permissions, effectively making it an administrator user. And we'll go back to home and let's go ahead and log out. And we'll log in with a new pad, uh, we'll log in with a new username and password. And that looks good. All right, from the home screen after you're logged in, the first thing you'll want to do is go to settings and connections. We're going to do a new connection and we're going to call this pop OS SSH. Set the protocol to SSH. Concurrency, we'll set that to two in each we will come all the way down here to network parameters. One night, uh, one seven two sixteen seventy four one six eight port twenty two, and then fill in username and password. And if you want to get really fancy, you can do different things like changing the color scheme and the font size and anything else you want to do on this page and click save. So now if we jump back to home and we click on pop OS SSH, it will go ahead and log us in. We are still in the web browser, but we have a shell session open in SSH. Which can be very useful if you want to, whoops, if you want to do updates and this makes it real easy. So we are now set up for using Guacamole as sort of a remote connection gateway from within our own network. But you might be asking, what if I want to use this remotely? Well, that's, that's actually a great question. So to use this remotely, you would need to set up port forwarding on your router. And that's going to differ for every different router type out there. But you would want to open ports so that you can get to your guacamole server from outside your actual network. The other piece of this puzzle that you will want to at least consider if you are not on a static IP from your internet provider is the use of dynamic DNS. And this will give you a host name that you can use that will automatically update in the background 
to your current public IP address. And once you have those pieces in place, you will be able to access Guacamole from outside your network. And then once you've connected to Guacamole, you have the simple connection to your other devices through your web browser and just clicking on the connections that were set up previously. So this completes our basic setup of Apache Guacamole using the Bitnami virtual appliance. We have tested to the point of making sure that it works from within our network. And that is the biggest first step we need to take. And so again, from here, you would want to go through the setup process for port forwarding and dynamic DNS for whatever public facing network equipment you have. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of another Practical IT video. If you like the video, please take a moment now to give a thumbs up, subscribe, leave comments, share with your friends. I thank you all again for watching as we continue to close in on the 1,000 subscriber mark. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.